Hey guys, it's me, Wendy from Weeby Dolls, and I'm here with baby Louisa, and she is my full body silicone. Um, she is the Kira sculpt by Tatiana Burden, and she was reborn by studios of Renee Mack. And I have dressed her in this beautiful gown that I received in Happy Mail from Krista and Christine, and um, it looks so beautiful on her. Uh, very, very good choice, ladies. I love the fabric. I love the color on her. I wouldn't have thought to put um, this kind of yellow mustard color with a redhead, but it looks great. So um, maybe that's something I can try. <laughs> I have never worn this color myself either. I just never ever thought to put it on. So um, definitely going to be looking for something in this out kind of colors for me this fall. <laughs> but um, I just wanted to come and show you guys her in her little bassinet and her beautiful gown. And yeah, so it has been an extremely difficult week for our family. Um, as you know, if you w watched one of my previous videos, um, we were dealing with the uh, miscarriage of my daughter and Sunday would have been her due date had she carried to full term. And, you know, that was a very emotional day. I think mostly my daughter and I were the ones who really, who it really hit the hardest. But um, we also had to deal this week with the, the death of our beloved miniature schnauzer, Bella. Yesterday, she passed away. Um, she's been suffering with congestive congestive heart failure for several months now and we almost lost her in the spring um, due to this disease. She's had a heart murmur for several years which the vet had said was mild and nothing to worry about and just watch her breathing. Well um, this spring we noticed her breathing was getting really fast and um, she was coughing a lot after she would have you know a play time or any exercise time she would start coughing a lot and she got really really sick at one point we thought that was the end we took her to the vet we were going to put her down that day and I can't remember if it was in May or in June but we were going to put her down that day and I said I asked this was a different vet than our usual vet and I asked him can you tell us your honest opinion do you think she has a fighting chance? And so he did a bunch of tests and, you know, x-rays and blood tests and everything. And he said she's very healthy other than her heart failure. Her heart failure can be treated with medication and she can still have a good quality of life. So we decided to, to keep her alive and put her on medication. Um, it was very difficult at first. She was very sick from the medication. We had to get her off of one of them. Actually, two of them I took her off because she was like, she wouldn't eat. She was throwing up everything, including water. She was so dehydrated and she was having seizures from, you know, all of the side effects of the medication and everything. So we, I took her down to one pill uh, out of the three that he had sent us home with. And that seemed to be doing, she seemed to be doing really well on that for a while. And then I noticed again, she was starting to cough a bit. And so I put her... I, Gave her the second pill um, on top of, you know, so she had two pills per day, um, different kinds. One was for the heart failure, one was for blood pressure, I think. Um, but I didn't put her on the diuretic because that was the one that was really making her have seizures and just nauseated and not eating and throwing up water and, but drinking lots, but then throwing up immediately. So I never did put her back on the diuretic, but I had her on the two pills and it seemed to help for a couple of weeks, maybe three weeks or so. But I noticed this past week she was just like, it was just very clear to us that she was getting worse and the medications weren't really helping anymore. So clearly her disease was progressing and I decided, my husband and I both decided that we didn't want to put her through any more tests, any more treatments. It was so traumatic for her when we brought her home that time from being hospitalized, she was so traumatized. It was just awful. And I really did, don't think, I don't think she would survive it again. 
So, you know, going in the hospital and being in the oxygen tent and just, she was just so traumatized. It was horrible. And so we decided that no more treatments, no more tests. When it became clear that her quality of life was, you know, less than, you know, she was having less good times than bad, than good, what am I saying? She was having less good days or good moments than she was bad, then it was going to be time. And we just, we would just know. And um, I shared a video on my Instagram a few days ago. And uh, if you look at that video and you look in her eyes, you will see too. It was, she was, he was telling me, he was telling me in her eyes, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm tired. And so we made the decision. It was very, very difficult to put her down and it was very emotional. Um, my husband took her. I couldn't go. I just couldn't do it. This time I, I was prepared to do it the last time, but I couldn't do it again. And so my, selfishly, I stayed home with the kids and my husband took her. And he honestly, he was the one who has the strongest connection with her he is taking it the hardest um we are all broken hearted but my husband is is he's really really sad about this this dog like he has probably never had a connection with a dog like he has had with our bella he loves her he loved her and so we all gathered around her even pippa and peter to say our goodbyes to her and i'm i swear to you pippa and peter knew something was going on because they both started just shaking and i think they they know like and they're they're so quiet and calm and just laying around i mean they're eating thank goodness they're eating good but they are just i think they're missing her i think they're grieving in their own way and we're trying to you know keep their routine as as close to normal as possible and be cheerful to them so they don't you know so they don't pick up on our sadness, but obviously dogs are very sensitive. I don't know. Some people say that dogs don't have a soul, and I really don't have an answer for that. But when I look in my eyes, in their eyes, I see a soul. So I don't know. <laughs> and that's probably theologically incorrect, but um, I have to comfort myself with that. So I like to believe that Bella is running around and not struggling and not suffering anymore and that in her little doggy heaven there's all the little bones and treats that she can have all to her heart's content and hopefully she met sasha her very first dog over there sasha was a beautiful dog she was uh our very first dog that we got when we were newly married well new parents not newlyweds but new parents bethany was just a baby ben wasn't even born yet and she was a collie shepherd cross and she was all cream colored she was so pretty and she was the most uh gentle dog she was so loyal and loving she literally protected my children from falling down the stairs a couple of times she literally put her body between them so they would not fall down the stairs when they were toddlers that was a beautiful dog but that was a sad day putting her down too. Oh, it is tough. We love our pets. We love our pets to pieces and every day with them is a gift. But the hardest part of being a pet owner is not the puddles on the floor, but it is, or the chewed up belongings. It is the day we have to say goodbye. So I have to say it has been a tough week, but I am very thankful for special friends and so, so many messages. I got so many messages and so many comments just expressing condolences to me and my family. And I know it's just a dog, guys, but I was really shocked that so many people cared. And I'm so, so grateful for that. And for this happy meal that I got this week could not have come at a better time. It really um, was a bright spot and what was a difficult day so thank you you special ladies that gifted this to me and uh you didn't know it would come on this day but 
it was perfect timing and I'm so so grateful for you guys I love you so much thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed seeing my beautiful beautiful Louisa thank you guys love you